Hello grade 9 math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have lesson 5 today. We're going to rearrange variable equations. We're going to solve any equations and they have no numbers. That's right, no numbers. We're just going to rearrange equations solving for the variable that it asks for. Uh, over the next three lessons these will get a little bit more complex. These are one step equations so it's kind of like right back to the beginning of algebra uh, in the unit. But Let's get going so I can show you what we're talking about and uh, we can expand what we know about math. Here we go. The first question has Z is equal to X plus M and it is asking us to solve for X. So if it's asking us to solve for X, that means we are going to rearrange the equation so that X is the only variable on its side. Solving is isolating. We are going to try to get it all alone, and that is solving. What I would do immediately, it doesn't matter if it's on the left or the right, um, we're going to write it on the left in the end, but I'll show you how we do that. Uh, if I want to get x all by itself, i got to move the m. So this is the m. It is a positive m, just like if we had a number, like a positive 5. We can move it over to the other side of the equation. And when we move it over, it flips its sign. This would be a negative m on this side. So if we move it over, we would be left with z minus m is equal to x. And now we have x all by itself. We have solved for x. I just want to write it so that x is on the left. That is a very common. So x is equal to z minus m. Okay. When we flip it over, nothing changes, just the sides flip over. So we're going to be solving for variables, the specific variables that it asks for. Let's go ahead and do the next one. We have u is equal to a minus k, and we are solving for a. So that means we want to get this variable all by itself. We have negative k that I want to get rid of on this side. So I can go ahead and move it over to the other side, and it's just positive k when it comes to the other side. So we would be left with u plus k is equal to a, and now a is by itself. We have solved for it, but we want to write it on the other side. So a is equal to u plus k. If you have questions about these, just stop me and be like, whoa, math without numbers. And be like, yes, math without numbers. But if you have questions, please let me know. Let's do a couple more. We have u is equal to kx, and we're going to solve. I wrote 4 backwards. I just did that. Okay. Solve for x. Ignore. All right. So since we have k times x, these are uh, multiplied by each other. Just like if we had a number and a variable together, they'd be multiplied. We are going to take it from this side, and since it's on the top, we're going to move it onto the bottom on this side. So divide by k. We're left with u over k is equal to x. And again, it seems that all of them I need to flip, but that's all right. x is equal to u divided by k. It gave me a chance to write a nicer equal sign. That's what that did. All right, let's do another one. g is equal to xc. We're going to go ahead and solve for x again. We so we're gonna take c, it's gonna go to the other side and be on the bottom, right? It's on the top on one side, and when we're multiplying, it goes and be and divides on the other side. So we have g over c is equal to x, but we want to flip it around. X is equal to g divided by c. If you have questions and you don't want to ask me, go ahead and ask a friend. All right, let's do two more. G is equal to x divided by c. We're going to solve for x again. When c is on the bottom on one side, and we want to get it to the other side, because we want to get x all by itself, it comes to the top. So we would have c times g is equal to x. We'll flip it around. x is equal to c g. Okay, so we are just manipulating these equations to solve for what we want. And we can do that whether we have variables or whether we have numbers. Whether we have exponent signs uh, or not, we can just 
Move things around the equation. Add it on one side goes to subtracting on the other. Multiply it on one side goes to dividing on the other. Let's do the last one. G is equal to A divided by C. We're going to solve for A. C comes up to the top again. C times G is equal to A. We're going to go ahead and flip that around. A is equal to CG. If you have questions about this, please let me know. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you soon.